Hello everybody, and welcome back to EverQuest 2 House Hunter. Today, we are on the Antonia Bale server. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to look at today is called Aiea's Comfy Home. And you'll find it under Small Homes. Owner's name is Aiea. And it is newly published. It's only been on the leaderboards for nine days. So let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful little cozy place. All right, let's take a look. Oh, isn't this charming? Very, very nice. I love the way that they've hung these vines around. And just there's just enough of them to where it doesn't look too jungly. It really adds to the room. Oh, look at this. This painting is beautiful here on this wall. Oh, it looks like we've got a uh, an arrow. Is this the arrow that pierced the owner's heart, perchance? Very special arrow, then. Now, they've actually built this little alcove for a little kitchenette. Very nice. I mean, obviously not a chef's kitchen. But that's fine. Friendly Correspondence by Aia. Ambassador to Kerr. I apologize for not replying to your correspondence in a more timely fashion. I have been abroad and only recently returned. Be assured I look forward to your holiday in Kelethan, and do not concern yourself with the possibility of being harried by the locals, as I have informed them of your visit and have made the proper arrangements. I'd like to revisit some of our previous discussions, and if you find yourself amiable to the notion, pick up where we left off. Yours always, Aya. So... I guess she shares this room, or maybe it's like a B Airbnb. She lets people stay here when she's out of town. Uh, interesting. Let's go upstairs. Oh, well, hello there, uh, Mr. Tucker. How are you? Ah, oh, just thinking of those lovely white doves flying around a beautiful moat and the way Kino's citizens always have a smile. Gah, just the thought disgusts me. <laughs> what, what is Freeport like? Listen and listen well. If you want a real life, one with freedom, one with power, one with an opportunity to serve a greater cause, Freeport is your only choice. Can you tell me more about it? My words intrigue you. Good. Our great overlord rules Freeport with a watchful eye and an iron fist. With his strength guiding us, Freeport easily defends its walls against both orcish hordes and ruthless cutthroats. A lesser city would have been destroyed long ago. So, what do you think? Do you possess the strength to live in the greatest city in Norath? Is your will strong enough to see your way through the troubled times ahead? Or are you a smiling do-gooder who prefers <laughs> frolicking in the streets of a softer city? Oh, well, actually, I do kind of like both of those options. I think I'll think about it a bit first. Thank you, though, for the information. Oh, that was fantastic. What a nice bit of flavor. Love that. Oh, what a nice room. Now you can see on the bed here, though, <laughs> even though this place is very sweetly done up and it looks like, you know, a fairy lives here, perhaps, or a fae, uh, on the wall we've got some chains here. It's very interesting there. Um, and we have another room that's been built here. 
Oh, it is a bathroom, literally. We've got some candies for when we're soaking in the tub. Well, I can see why the ambassador would like to stay here. Doesn't seem quite his taste in decor, but the peacefulness of it is very welcoming. This fellow is a little awestruck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's me or something he's looking at up in the sky. In any case, the next property is another small starter home, and it happens to be right here in Freeport. The name of the property is Wizard's Study. So if I just put in study, let's see if it brings it up. Sure does. There it is. Now this home is owned by Sayela. So let's take a look. All right, here we go. Now these Freeport starter rooms have just this wonderful architectural door. I just really think it adds to um, the design and the ambiance of it being in an uh, evil place. I don't know why. Maybe because it's jaggedy and not round. <laughs> I really don't know. This is really nice. Got a nice little dining area with a garden inside. Well, hello there. Are you the greeter? Vicious pterodon plushie. Well, you sure caught my eye, you beautiful bird. Or dinosaur, or whatever you are. <laughs> I love the little butterflies. and The stained glass makes it look like there's a window here where there actually isn't. And we can see that the owner has started their uh, Lauren Legend weapon collection. Nice wall of, of books with a nook to sit down and read. I mean, I guess that a wizard would have to study quite a bit. Maybe he teaches. Maybe he's like a tutor. Because we have this long table that looks like students could sit at and they could study these books. This is nice. What is this? Kinema Jar of Blessed Essence. Nice. Maybe she is the matron. Maybe she is the actual tutor. Interesting. And in this room, we have a little dining area, I guess. You could cook something on that stove. Ooh, what is this? Rustic kitchen sink. Interesting. I love these paintings. And this one, of course, is a good old classic. You got to love that. And this banner is beautiful. And a little bedroom area. Well, I think this is very well done. And if I was an aspiring Young wizard, I think I would appreciate coming here to study. Hopefully, looking at these small starters inspires new players to not be so intimidated by all of the decorating and all of the huge prestige homes that are available. You don't have to jump right into those big projects. These properties we've seen today so far uh, show that, yes, even if you're starting out, even if you don't have a wall full of lore and legend, 
items. It is still a beautiful place. This is very welcoming. It tells a story. Both of the properties we have looked at tell a story. And that makes it very interesting to visit for us. The next property we're going to look at is a prestige home. We have not seen this one vacant, so we're going to do a quick tour. City of Mist Estate. And what we're, gonna, we're not going to run around the whole thing. What I'm going to do is zoom out. And first we're going to pan out over the water. And you can see all of this outside surrounding area is connected. And you also have access to that landing and all of these pathways out to the landing. Amazing. And the architecture... Uh, We've seen a lot of these pillars and this type of architecture in items that you can get for your home, although not quite the scale as this, but uh, very nice. Oh, wow. Well. And this is the big room. Now there's one just like it on the other side of the property. This next property is under Massive Homes. I'm just going to put in silver. And it is this one here. Jeffel's Silver Rose. The picture itself was beautiful. I couldn't help but want to go see this. The owner is Jeffel. It was published nine days ago. So let's take a look. So let's turn and see what we've got. Oh, hello. This is Fresha. Hello, Fresha. Oh, wow. Okay, we do have a teleport pad. The sign says the Silver Rose Theater. Welcome. Okay. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that. Guess I should maybe zoom out a little bit. We can get a better view view. These rooms are huge. Now we do have some signs. Let's check out the signs. This one says the Silver Rose Theater. This one is the lounge. Um, this one is employees only. This is their dressing room and employee lounge. Okay, let's go in this bar area first. Oh, this is nice. You can tell that they have actually created this room because there wasn't anything like this in the vacant. And I don't know if these books are f notes or if they're just decor. Oh, beverage infusions provided by the Fugue by Jethel. The Scarlet Bottle lust. Note, this bottle is available at the discretion of the staff as lust can be a dangerous effect. The effect is known as passion. Its effects deepen the well of lust in its imbiber. Okay. The lavender decanter is hope. The effect, serenity, instills peace and hope in its drinker. An opened cubic vase is humor. The effect, let's see if we can see these. Nah. The effect, herein is kept the essence of laughter, known as humor. The drinker may start finding everything funny and start giggling for no reason. The squat, 
The orange bottle is curiosity. Effect, interest inspires fascination and curiosity. The unassuming diamond capped bottle is inspiration. This tightly capped bottle will inspire the drinker to become creative in all that they do. Large jeweled bottle, awe. Effect, this sturdy reservoir evokes a sense of awe and wonder. You are affected. The properties infused within the contents of these bottles may affect each consumer differently, but they cannot be resisted. Do you have a high alcohol tolerance? You are affected. Do you have a resistance to toxins and poisons? You are affected. Are you a related member of the undead, a lich, a vampire, or a revenant? You are affected. You are protected. The silver rose is surrounded by an inhibition field that nullifies the effects of the fugue's beverage infusions once the patron has exited the establishment. Whether by foot, portal, or rift in time and or space, once you're outside of the grounds, you will return to your normal mental state. How about that? Okay, then. Take a swig. <laughs> this is what it's like to be drunk in EverQuest. This is quite interesting. Okay, everybody. <laughs> I would recommend that you do not drink that. It, it literally took forever for the... Uh, fuzziness to go away so uh, but there's that so now we know that these items definitely do have an impact on you in this zone so let's continue to look around a little bit we've got all kinds of wonderfully different bottles and mugs and beer tabs I love that painting it's perfect for above a bar isn't it Well, this is a nice place to hang out. Beautiful piano. Okay, and on this side, where was it? This side? Dressing rooms. Oh, wow. As far as a lounge goes, they've got the big pillows happening. That's awesome. A little place you can sit down and you can put your makeup on to get ready. Nice. Oh, look, they've even got the privacy curtains for people who want to get ready. Oh, look at that. You can open the curtains. Oh, how awesome is that? Oh, that's cool. And we have some wash basins for you to wash your hands. Oh, that's neat. Ooh, look at that painting. Undead Bards. Wonder if that's the name of a play or something that they do. And then once the employees, actors, and whatnots are ready. They come down this long hall, which is gorgeous. Look at the way they made it look so much like a theater. I love it. Stage entrance. Knock them dead. Oh, <laughs> very cool. All right, well, we've got to go on stage here. Let's see what we've got going on. Ooh. Oh, look at this. They've got this huge organ. 
Now that's an oak mist piano, but what they've done is they've, they've placed it in front of this. I don't even know what this is. The, that is a arm wall and another piano, I guess. They've put pieces together to create this. What's this piece up here? Yeah, that's an arm wall. Wow, that is fantastic. And then we have our stage. Oh, look. Okay, so we can see through to where we came in, actually. So this is the actual theater. But they've got this runway where they could do America's Top Model. They could do... Uh, fashion shows they could put on plays here if they wanted oh, and they basically built this whole room this is a divider oh what is this up here grotto half arch just fantastic I have to say. Now, this theater uses only, from what I can see, a very small amount of the space that is available. Definitely going to like that. And exit. Thank you for joining me today. Please give a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.